Are you feeling unwell? No, it's the air. Miss Lee, what does air quality have to do with our health? Air quality has a significant impact on our health. Polluted air causes short-term and long-term health problems for children, adults and the elderly. The World Health Organization reported that in 2012, nearly 3.7 million deaths were attributed to ambient air pollution, which was classified as carcinogenic in 2013. Let's hear what the doctor says. Many international and local studies have shown that air pollution heightens the risk of death and increases the number of outpatient attendances and hospitalizations among patients with respiratory and cardiovascular diseases, thus imposing a heavy burden on the healthcare system. Prolonged exposure to polluted air, particularly in places with heavy traffic, may cause itchy nose, sneezing, runny nose, itchy throat and cough, shortness of breath and chest tightness. The risk of developing asthma, respiratory infections, cardiovascular diseases and even lung cancer may also be increased. For patients with asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or cardiovascular diseases, air pollution can make the conditions worse. It also impairs normal lung growth and development in children and adolescents. Recent clinical research shows that better air quality can improve lung health. It is therefore very important to improve air quality in order to protect the lungs from detrimental effects of air pollution. Miss Lee, why am I not coughing? It's because people react differently to air quality, depending on various factors, such as the concentration and chemical properties of air pollutants, the duration of exposure to pollutants, our distances from the emission sources, the weather, as well as our ages and health conditions. In any case, we should always pay attention to our health. Air pollutants? You mean dust? Why don't we invite Dr. Lan to further explain it? Major air pollutants in Hong Kong include suspended particulates, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide and ozone, emitted from motor vehicles, ships and power plants. Therefore, saving electricity and making good use of the public transport in our daily living can help improve air quality. Let's find out more about these pollutants. First of all, respirable suspended particulates, or PM10, are particles with aerodynamic diameter of 10 microns or less. Particles with aerodynamic diameter of 2.5 microns or less are called fine suspended particulates or PM2.5. Compared to PM10, due to its smaller size, PM2.5 can precipitate into the lungs and get into the bloodstream more readily, causing more serious damage. Nitrogen dioxide, NO2, is a highly corrosive and oxidizing gas. Ozone O3 is a powerful oxidant. Its impact on our health is proportional to its concentration, the exposure time and the degree of physical activity at the time of exposure. Now that we understand the challenges of air quality, we should take actions together to improve the air quality of Hong Kong for our better health. Yes, Miss Lee!